Hello, my name is Aaron LeBlanc and I'm the founder and CEO of Hype Local. And today I'm excited to share with you uh, specific use cases on how to uh, take unstructured data and use Zapier and ChatGPT to structure it into uh, fields and values that can be used to unlock uh, substantial value within your automations uh, within Zapier. Uh, so just as an example, this is what I consider unstructured data. So this is raw unstructured data just taken from the homepage of our website, which we're gonna do a, a demo on shortly. And then turning this data into a structured format that I can actually use to put into my CRM, I can use to create automated emails, and I can use for a number of different things that we'll discuss uh, in this presentation. So here's an example of the workflow that we're gonna cover. Uh, first off, we're gonna trigger this from Chrome, uh, the Chrome extension, which I'll show you in a moment. We're then gonna scrape the raw web page content with a Zapier code step. We're then going to take that raw content and we're gonna use ChatGPT to parse that data into a structured format. And then we're gonna take that reply from ChatGPT and we're gonna turn it into usable Zapier fields for our automations. And then lastly, we're gonna activate it. We're gonna add that data into our CRM. Let's get started. So first off, here's the example of a website, okay? That we want to get the raw data from. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the Zapier Chrome extension. Okay, you can see I have my, my automation already set up, which we'll be walking through in a moment. And all I gotta do is grab the, the domain, and paste that domain in here for the Chrome extension, the trigger to deliver this domain into my automation. Okay, so I'm gonna send that. Perfect. So here we are inside of the automation. This is fully built out, but I'm gonna walk through this step-by-step step with you and show you how to do this on your own. Uh, so the first thing is we wanna set up our trigger step. So the new push from our Chrome extension, okay? You can see here, here's the, the trigger step, and then here's the event. And then our trigger, you choose what fields you want. That was the fields that showed up on the Chrome extension. I'm going to continue. Okay, I already have some test data in here. You can see the tab title, the tab URL, uh, the timestamp of when it was triggered, as well as the fields. This is that input field that I, I added the, uh, the URL to. Okay, I'm gonna continue with this. The second step is we want to run a code step by Zapier, and we wanna run Python code, okay? This Python code I'm not gonna go through this a whole lot in this today's example. Uh, you can reach out to me through the Zapier Experts portal uh, to get this, uh, this code for yourself. But this is just some basic code that will uh, scrape the raw uh, content off of the website URL, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and let's just run this code. Okay, so I can see here, here's the raw content. Okay, all of this unstructured data, right? There's a lot of it to go through this. To gather it manually would take quite a bit of time. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna use ChatGPT to structure this content for me. So the first thing I gotta set up is a ChatGPT step. Now, uh, even though this looks like the ChatGPT app, you have to have an API uh, uh, account, billing account set up with ChatGPT. Uh, OpenAI to use this step, okay? So I've set up, already set up my API and I'm gonna have the conversation event, okay? So let's jump over to the action. Uh, so the action is uh, the user message, which is the prompt, okay? And you can see here, I've set up my prompt and I am gonna walk through the prompt because I think that's very important here to get the prompt right. Uh, so the first thing with the prompt I'm going to ask the AI to do is to review the content here. And what I've done is I fenced off or delimited specific raw content, dynamic content that's coming from the two Zapier steps above. So first off is the website URL from the trigger step. Okay, so the, the AI 
or ChatGPT knows that that's the URL and then the actual raw content. And I fence this off or delimit it because it makes it clear to the to ChatGPT that, hey, this content is separate than everything else. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell ChatGPT to extract and structure the data based on the following schema. So I've already set up the schema I want. I want the business name, I want the business street address, business city, business state, business country, the business postal code, the business phone, the business email, the website URL, the and then to create a business description, detailed and specific description of the business and what they do, three sentences or less, and then the business industry name, okay? Now, this schema is just schema I set up for the purposes of this presentation. It's meant to be simple, it's meant to be easy, but I can add any type of schema that I want. I could have AI or ChatGPT even create new, new fields that you know infer data. For instance, you know, what if my business is a you know a plumbing business, what would be you know the thing that they would be interested in the most? Things like that. There's a lot, there's a lot of expansion that you can do from here. So I fence that schema off again so it's clear to the to chat GBT what that is. And then I have specific instructions. Once the data is gathered, check your response for accuracy against the provided instructions. Unless otherwise told in the schema, all fields are string fields. The data will be used to go into a CRM via automation. The data needs to be accurate, clean, and contextual. And then lastly, I have a fenced off special instruction. This is for the output. The output has to be in a very specific format to be able to activate it elsewhere. So output the response in JSON code format with no leading characters. Your reply will be used as a JSON payload. Don't include these types of characters. It likes to do that, okay? So the model I'm gonna use for this uh, prompt is chat uh, GPT-40. It's the, one of the newest models. It works really well for this more uh, simply structured content. If you're looking to infer additional fields, which you'll see in the next demo, you may want to use ChatGPT4. Uh, I don't add any memory key, no image. The username that I give it is expert salesperson. The assistant name is salesperson assistant. So the username is the user that's using ChatGPT. The assistant is ChatGPT's name. As you can see here with some of the instructions uh, put in through Zapier is that the, these can change your output. So you can experiment with those uh, to get even different outputs. Uh, then we have the assistant instructions. You're a helpful sales assistant that specializes in parsing unstructured content into a structured format. Our max tokens I leave as default. Uh, the temperature default is 1.0. I gear this down a lot. So I gear this to half or half of, um, of the default because I want it to be more logical. I don't want it to get overly creative. And I could even go down for, for even more logical tasks, I could go down even further. Um, and then top P, we just leave that the default here. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's test this. Let's see what the output is that we get from uh, ChatGPT. So I'm just gonna scroll down here to the reply or the response. Perfect, so here you have it. So you can see the history, the message. So this is in JSON format. You can see the field and then you can see the value here. And you can see all the data that it extracted from that raw unstructured web page content, right? All of the content that I asked it for, the name, the city, the state, the country, the business description, the business industry name, based on the NAICS codes. So once we have the raw output from ChatGPT, we want to parse that output into usable fields within Zapier. So we're going to use a Zapier code step to help us do this. And we're going to run some JavaScript. So inside of the input data, I've created a payload that is the dynamic output response from, Zap or from uh, ChatGPT. And then I'm just using some very basic JSON parsing code here. So let's go ahead and test this. 
And there you have it. We ha now have that reply, that response from ChatGPT as usable fields that we can now build into our automations downstream from here. So all I'm doing in this example is I'm gonna now create the company inside of HubSpot so that I can then begin my outreach to them inside of Hub HubSpot and recording all of my activities there. So you can see here, we're just grabbing the, the code steps, uh, the output from the, uh, the code step here as the data. For instance, you can see the business city here, the under the parse JSON payload, I can come and I can now find all of those different unique fields that we had. And that's all that's set up. So once that's done, I can continue to add on to this automation. I could, maybe I wanna create, uh, have AI create me a cold outreach email based on that company's raw data. Uh, maybe I wanna create a deal. Maybe I wanna send a notification. Maybe I wanna add it to a list. The, the, um, what you can do from this point on is, is unlimited. The sky's the limit. Um, so you know, get creative and build something advanced and unique. Wow.